All right, guys, this is Weology here. Uh, I'm going to show you how to put a NES emulator on your Wii so you can play old school Nintendo games on your Wii. Uh, make sure you read my warning. If you haven't, I take no responsibility for anything that happens or anything that occurs to your uh, Wii software hardware, computer software hardware, etc., etc. Just make sure you read the warning, please. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you, like I said, how to get a NES emulator on your Wii via the Homebrew channel. So these are some things that you're going to need and extract files from the download section to your desktop. Okay, guys, just go to the link in the description to download this file right here. Um, and you have to extract it. You can extract it anywhere you want. I'm going to extract it to my desktop. So go to extract files, right click extract files, um, desktop, and hit OK. Now exit out of that. And here we have two folders, um, apps and FCEUGX. Now what you want to do is um, insert your SD card and I'll show you what to do in the next step. Alright, so now that you have um, your SD card inserted, you just want to navigate to your SD card and move both folders, apps and the nest folder to your SD card. And, um, well, you're going to need some games to play with this, and they're called ROMs. Um, unfortunately, I cannot give any links to ROMs or tell you on this video how to get them, but um, just know that Google is your friend. Um, and if you need any, if you really, really need help, you can email me. Um, or you can send me a message um, in YouTube. So once you have both files <coughs> on here and you have your ROMs, you download your ROMs, you just go to um, FCEUGX folder and put your ROMs in the ROMs folder. And take your SD card out and um, insert it into your Wii. And I'll show you what to do in the next one. All right, guys, so now that you have the SD card inserted into your Wii, what you want to do is you want to go to the Homebrew channel. Um, if you do not have the homebrew channel yet, then you need to take a look at my first video, um, full tutorial on the Twilight Hack with downloads. And once you have the homebrew channel, you can just click on the homebrew channel, um, click start, and um, it should it'll load up from your SD card. You won't have all these icons on here uh, if you're following my videos, at least. But you will have this one, the Nintendo Emulator FCE Ultra GX. Just click on it and load. Let it load up. And um, the first time you're loading this, you're probably going to see a screen that says uh, checking preferences or checking settings. Uh, sometimes it could take a while, um, a few minutes. But just let it do what it has to do. Be patient and let it run. Um, but once you get to the main menu of FCE Ultra, just go to game and it'll show a list of ROMs that you put in your ROM folder and uh, right now I'll choose Super Mario Brothers 3 and show you guys a little demo now the plus button on the Wii remote if you're using the Wii remote is a start button and you have to hold the remote to the left to get it to work and the, the two button works as the A button. And that's all you really need for Super Mario Brothers, so I'm not sure what the other buttons are. But you just use the arrows, and that's about it. Um, it's really fun, you know, it brings you back to the old school. Um, yeah, it's just a really nice application. Uh, so that's really about it, guys. Uh, rate, comment, and subscribe if you have any questions. Uh, email me at weology uh, at gmail.com um, or just post a comment. Um, I can I, I can help you guys as much as I can. I'm not an expert, but uh, I know I know how to get around. So uh, yeah, just rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. And my next video will be um, how to play DVDs on your Wii. And there's going to be lots more interesting stuff coming soon. So stay tuned.